On today's show, we've all heard about the importance of getting a good night's sleep. Yet four out of 10 people get only six hours of sleep or less a night. Welcome to the 700 Club Canada, I'm Brian Warren, and I am so excited because this is the start of our Protect Your Health Week. We wanna make sure that you're taking care of your health because not only are we to keep our bodies in, in shape, but we're also bodily exercise profitable, spiritual exercise much. We're gonna be focusing on stress and also we're gonna look at supplements, exercise, and a lot of other things. Today we're focusing on sleep and also the importance of sleep and a miracle here Healing. You're going to hear about how God was able to just cause whatever the illness is to just completely just disappear in the name of Jesus. But joining me today is my good friend Peter, and we're going to go to the barbecue grill. We got some Bear Monday on, we've got some couscous, and we also have an amazing, and I love this, some very good Cajun shrimp. I hope that makes your mouth water right now because this is barbecue day. You know you heard me talk about barbecue. We can barbecue tomato, we can barbecue pineapple, we can barbecue potatoes, we can barbecue chicken, fish, chicken, it doesn't matter. But today we're going to the shrimp. The boys are back in town. Don't go away. We've all heard about the importance of getting a good night's sleep. Yet four out of 10 people get only six hours of sleep or less a night. That doesn't just leave them feeling tired the next day, it's also weakening their immune systems. Simply put, when we sleep, our bodies repair and restore themselves. Without enough sleep, we become targets for all kinds of sickness. When individuals are getting less than, let's say, five to six hours of sleep, it's been found that your pro-inflammatory markers um, in your blood, so these cytokines that are communicating between different cells, they are elevated. And when some of these pro-inflammatory markers are elevated, um, you're at a higher risk of developing ultimately other issues. Like trouble fighting off colds and flu. To prove this point, researchers studied two groups of men. One group slept four hours a night, and the other slept eight. After one week, they compared the blood samples from each group. The men who slept eight hours a night had twice the flu-fighting antibodies. In other studies, scientists discovered that when we're sleep deprived, our T cell numbers go down. You need T cells in your body, absolutely. They're your body's first defense um, of getting rid of the bugs, germs, bacteria, viruses, fungi, any of those infections that you have. That's your body's first response. It's one thing to choose sleep deprivation because you're working or playing too much. Insomnia is entirely different. It's trying to get a good eight hours and failing because of trouble falling asleep, or waking up and not being able to get back to sleep. If you struggle with insomnia, you may be tempted to reach for a sleeping pill, but doctors say there's some other things you should try first. Sleeping pills in generally have some long-term effects that we're still learning about. There's some you know, concerns about memory issues that could develop as a result of taking these medicines long-term. And in some instances, they can make the underlying medical condition worse. So instead of popping a pill, cut back, or better yet, cut out all caffeine. Caffeine is in all sorts of things, so it doesn't necessarily have to be coffee. It could be tea. It, it, green tea has caffeine in it, maybe not as much as coffee, but um, you know your monster energy drinks, your five-hour energies, any of these types of things, they do have caffeine in them. Um, chocolate. In addition to caffeine, just say no to that nap on the couch. A lot of people think, oh, I didn't sleep well at night, I'm gonna take a nap in the afternoon. Well, that's just reducing your body's drive to wanna sleep at nighttime. At least an hour before bedtime, dim the lights and stop looking at anything that emits light, like the TV or the computer. Ultimately, when we get stimulated with light, it reduces our body's melatonin production. And we need melatonin to help us fall asleep at night and to maintain sleep during the majority of the nighttime. Regular exercise will also have you sleeping like a baby. 
The exercise has a neurochemical impact in improving your sleep. Don't eat within a few hours of bedtime and don't take a shot of alcohol before bed. It will knock you out all right, but it will also wake you up later. When you get ready for bed, make sure your bedroom is dark and cool. Don't pay bills, worry about tomorrow, or argue with your spouse. All these things cause wakefulness. Instead, read a chapter in the Bible. Meditating on scripture will calm you down, and it's a great way to end the day. One more thing, try to go to bed and wake up at the same time every day, even on the weekends. Your body needs an established rhythm of sleep. If you've tried everything and you still feel exhausted during the day, you might be one of the millions of Americans who suffer with sleep apnea. It can damage your health and many people don't even know they have it. Sleep apnea occurs when your airway closes on and off throughout the night, so you never get the deep restorative sleep you need. Common symptoms of sleep apnea, number one is snoring, loud disruptive snoring, Certainly if there's somebody that tells you that you're choking and gasping and you're actually stopping breathing while sleeping, that's another one. Another symptom is unrefreshing sleep. When you're waking up and let's say you've allowed yourself eight hours of sleep, but you wake up and felt like you were just, you're hit by a truck, you barely slept at all. If you think you might have sleep apnea, get tested at a sleep center. Tom Kramer was diagnosed with it two years ago. Since then, he's used the CPAP machine every night and he says he feels like a new man. I think that just now my immune system, uh, it's much better. I don't get colds or, you know, the sinus infections and so forth like I used to. Uh, I don't wake up with a sore throat and a dry throat. That's a big thing too. The CPAP machine blows a gentle stream of air to prevent the throat from closing so you don't wake up. I've got more energy. I've lost over 20 pounds just being on the CPAP. By making some common sense changes, you can get the sleep you need and enjoy a much stronger immune system. Thank you. Isn't that amazing that those that slept with at least eight hours or more, their white blood cell count was much stronger, their immune system went up, and it's so important. I know how important sleep is. I remember playing professional football when you'd be in a different time zone all together. You had to keep everything as consistent as possible, even because you were out of your normal environment. But what we did is we tried to make sure that we had repetition, repetition, repetition. It is so important. You know, Genesis 2 says that God rested, and after he he had created all the heavens and the earth on the seventh day he rested it's important for us to sabbath and uh, you got to be careful about those caffeine drinks and a lot of those other things like that because they're not helping your immune system they're actually hurting your immune system but we're also featuring all this week protect your health so we want you to you know pvr this tell your neighbors tell your friends make sure that you get a hold of this and it's yours for the asking 1-855-759-0700 you know it's something that i've noticed that a lot of times when I check my emails right before I get ready to go to bed, bing, I just completely wake up. It causes a wakefulness. So I would ask you, read a bit, not only the Word of God, but pray and prepare yourself for the sleep because it's as much important what you receive. The Bible says, I give unto my beloved as they sleep. Unless the Lord build the house, they labor in vain, they build it. Unless the Lord watch over the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. Well, coming up, we're going to the Barbie. Don't go away. Okay. Get plenty of rest and follow all the instructions on here. Wow. Thank goodness for all those years of medical school, huh? Oh, I'm not a doctor, but I do watch the 700 Club. Protect your health and build a better, stronger immune system. The 700 Club brings you the latest steps to power up your well being and boost your body's defenses. Experts from the Mayo Clinic. They're your body's first defense of getting rid of the bugs, germs, bacteria, viruses. The Cleveland Clinic. If they can't function, then they can't destroy anything foreign that's in the body. And many others show you how to live long and strong. Get your free DVD copy of Protect Your Health. Thanks. 
Protect your health. Hey. Available now. Well, the boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. You know, I got my good friend here, Peter Caparella, and we are in the kitchen. And what do we have on the menu today? Well, we got tiger shrimp. Mm-hmm. I love tiger and shrimp. And we got Cajun spices. Yes, Cajun spices with some beer mundi. It's actually a Pacific fish. It's kind of like a cross between a, 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 a snapper, but also it's sort of like a cod because it's got a, a meatier flavor to it. And then we're also going to have a little bit of couscous with this. That's right. And uh, I'm going to get this started. So while we do that, I'm going to put this one on the grill and we're going to show them how to do this and get these things started. How do, what, what do we have here, right. by the way? Well, here we got some fresh rosemary. Yeah. We have cayenne. Mm -hmm. We have a little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. We have some paprika. Mm -hmm. And of course, we got to add some real good olive oil. Ooh, I love olive oil. Now, olive oil is important because when you know when people are talking about sleeping and uh, getting enough rest, one of the things that it has is an antioxidant, but it also has a lot of other qualities in it as well. But it has to be cooked at a low heat. Most people That's think right. that you, you cook it at a high heat. But if you're using it as a marinade just to paste the spices, yeah. it's okay to put it on a higher heat. Okay. Because it it's not by itself, so it won't burn. Now you're gonna start, you're gonna, you're gonna begin gonna, to move those around a little bit. I'm gonna have to move these babies around. And kinda mush them up. And while you're doing that, because I'm gonna use that same seasoning, and we're gonna use that on this beer Monday as well that we've already put in here, and it's Cajun, because everybody needs a little bit of a little spicy life, ah! It's See, this is the, this is the, 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 the filet and what it looks like. Doesn't that look beautiful? That is a beautiful fish, and uh, it can feed at least about four people, and uh, maybe two if it's just me, me and Peter over here doing this. And uh, give me a little bit of your paste over there while yep, you're doing take, that. You can take the rest gonna, of the paste. We're gonna I've rub got it down, there. and all we have to do is that. Now, Peter, you were a wrestler at one time. You remember doing a little bit of wrestling. Your, oh, your yeah. coat name was Peter Parker. That's right. I was Peter Parker for many years. Mm -hmm. I also wrestled under the name of Thunder Johnson. Thunder Johnson. That was an antique. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I was on the circuit with some of the some of the greats. And some of those guys, who were those guys that some you actually? Some of the guys that I was with was uh, Johnny Valentine. Yeah. Uh, George uh, Cannon. Yeah. George the Animal Steel. Mm -hmm. um, the fabulous Louis Martinez. Mm. Um, so yeah, I was with uh, some of the greats. Uh, the original Sheik. So who says real men can't get in the kitchen? You know, the barbecue is for everybody. And I'm talking about these tiger shrimp are just amazing. They're mouth-watering as well. But well, we got some couscous over there as well. Yep. Why don't you grab the couscous and let me finish off that, and I'm going to get this cure going. Because, um, you know, one of the things that I really appreciate about barbecue is that you don't have to be perfect with it. You can just kind of move it around and get, get into it, right? And it's like uh, you can become your own Picasso. And, uh, oh, that looks really good. That's going to be amazing. Tell us what's in that couscous. Okay. Couscous is, is a carb. So it's, it's great. It's uh, better than rice as far as I'm concerned. It's easy to cook, five minutes. Uh, oh, just beautiful. let it sit, fluff it up, and just add some fresh ingredients, such as red onion, uh, parsley, uh, cucumber, uh, tomatoes, yeah. olive oil, uh, wine vinegar, and just toss it up and let it sit and... It's delicious. Now, we've already made that because it was uh, earlier. We, we wanted to make sure that we had all those ingredients. Exactly. And, and, and you could see that with not only the onion, but also with the tomato and everything that's in that. That's a full meal. And I'm telling you, this is going to make you really just your, your whole, your mouth is going to just say, oh, I feel like it's, it's July 1st all over again. And it's going to go great with the fish and yes. uh, the shrimp as a complimentary dish. Beautiful. Oh, this is looking really good. It's moving along in here. It is indeed. Yeah, this is a work of art. Now, Peter, we get an opportunity to fish a lot, too. That's one of the things that I appreciate, because when we get a chance to go fishing, we talk about all kind of jokes and everything. But God said we're supposed to be fishers of men as well. He said not only that, that we are to go into all the world, but he says that those that believe, you just bring them in. But you got you to gotta fish with the right bait. Exactly. Because those fish don't just come up with anything, do they? Nope. No, nope. it takes a lot of time, patience. You gotta have the right bait. You gotta know exactly what you're giving them. Yeah. Um, 
Fish are not stupid. They're quite smart. They know what they want. Just like us. We know what we want, what's good for us. Well, they're smarter than a lot of brothers that I know, but I'm just at the same time. <laughs> Boom! You got to take that one. I think it's almost time for plating, and we're going to be right back. And uh, you, you don't want to go away because we're going to show you the end of this, and it is going to be spectacular. We'll be right back. Daddy? Yeah, buddy? How many nickels are in a dollar? There are 20 nickels Look, in a dollar. How do birds fly? Does milk really make my bones stronger? Yeah, yeah. Daddy, when we die, will we go to heaven? Do you have the answer to life's biggest question? Call the 700 Club. We'll help you find answers to the important questions life brings your way. Oh, I can't wait to eat this, Peter. And you know what? With the couscous, it has 66% of the daily recommended amount of selenium. So it's going to help in sleep as well. That's right. And so when we start looking at that and we look at the tiger shrimp and what it has, and I'm going to do that. So why don't you start getting this plate ready? All right. And I'm going to get this off the grill because Perfect. I hear it. And it's just making a noise. It's like jump into my belly. That's what I feel. This is going to, oh, my goodness. Look at that. These shrimp are absolutely amazing. This, Peter, oh, that's the one that got away. You little rascal, it tried to get back to the sea, but it's not, <laughs> we're gonna make sure that we get this. Now you've got that, that going on. I want you to look at that. Look at, look at the color on that. It's got the right color, it's got the right texture. I mean, it's just beautiful. And you're gonna, you're gonna get them off with that, yep, right? Yep, I'm gonna get them off. And I'll make sure that, oh my goodness. Look at this, look at this. This is what blackened Gramundi is supposed to look like. It's really quick, too. It doesn't take you very long. I mean, it's high in, in vitamin B and vitamin A, as well as the tiger shrimp as well. So you'll get your, your omegas. You'll make sure that you're, you're healthy, but your mouth will actually love you, and it will, it will tell you, she's such a good woman. He's such a good man. You know, you got to get that going. Come on, buddy. All right. Brother, I can't wait to eat. I mean, this is, this is good. I mean, this is, this is where we enjoy barbecue because, you know, it, it has to be spent with friends, and it's got to be with you being able to just, just create in the kitchen. Make sure that no matter what you're doing, and, you know, this couscous is also sugar-free and fat-free. And uh, in case it's not, I was binding the calories and casting out the fat right before anyway. But it's going to really be good. I mean, I think that one's for me and that one's for you, Peter. Yep. And uh, we're going to be right back. And you don't want to go away because the best is yet to come. Oh, thank you. I think you, got, you, you shorted me. You should have gave me a bigger piece. All right, let's, let's give you this. Like millions of Americans, Eldora Snowden ignores her alarm clock. It's almost torture because when it goes off, at that point I could feel that my body finally went to sleep. But now I have to get up and I have to struggle in order to get up. That's a classic sign of sleep deprivation. Other clues? Irritability, grogginess, difficulty concentrating or staying awake during meetings or classes, and trying to catch up on sleep on weekends. Well, I know that I have insomnia, and I just do not sleep well at all. The first step tends to be sleeping pills, when in reality, it should be one of the last. According to sleep experts, this medication is addictive, can have serious side effects, and causes drowsiness during the day. The person spends time trying to figure out what the best sleeping pill is which is completely wrong. What you should spend time doing is trying to figure out why am I not sleeping well. One reason can be your diet. Too much caffeine can be a culprit, so cut out coffee, tea, soda, even chocolate, eight hours before bedtime or better yet, altogether. Don't eat within two hours of bedtime, avoiding big meals and alcohol, which can knock you out but later wake you up and nix the spicy or fatty foods. They cause heartburn, which interferes with sleep. If you want a great night's sleep, turn your bedroom into a true sleep chamber. That means eliminating anything your brain associates with wakefulness. So if you're in bed, don't do things like watch TV, pay the bills, or have tense conversations. In fact, if you worry in bed, 
try to think of something calm or get up and go into another room. Then literally write down your problems. This subconsciously transfers them from your mind to the paper, relieving stress so you can go back to bed. Regular exercise, particularly in the afternoon, can have you sleeping like a baby. So can taking a warm shower or bath before bed. When you are in the bedroom, lower the thermostat. Keep it dark and quiet. If there are still issues, use a sleep mask and earplugs. Make sure you go to bed and wake up at the same time every day, even on the weekends. And since nicotine is a stimulant, stop smoking. If these tips don't work, your doctor may send you here to a sleep center where more serious sleep disorders are identified and treated. Les Ward fell asleep while driving and hit someone. Now his employer won't let him drive unless these tests can show it was an isolated incident. And what we're trying to see is if you put him in a, in a relatively dark, quiet room where he's a little bit upright, how well does he stay awake? Because if you think about it, if you, let's say you're a truck driver. Mm -hmm. Do I really care how quickly you fall asleep or do I really care if you can marshal your forces and stay awake? He stares at the wall for 40 minutes while doctors monitor his movements and body functions. The doctor says if I stay awake, he'll give me a letter certifying me to drive. So, so far I've done it three times and I've stayed awake all three times. So one more time and doc, you better start writing a letter. <laughs> Many sleep disorders are brought on by underlying physical problems like obesity or emotional issues like depression. Doctors say by addressing those root causes and changing some behavior, most people can sleep well and wake refreshed for life. Lori Johnson, CBN News. Hi, I'm Jason. And I'm Raphael. We're the founders of the Canadian International Faith and Family Film Festival. Or better known as KIF. We've teamed up with Act Canada Artists in Christian Testimony and with Dr. Reverend Byron Spradlin. Our mission is to showcase faith and family films. Well, it's so much more than just the festival. It's a place where we could gather and inspire young adults with our new initiative that we have with the Canadian Bible Society, our Youth Initiative Program. And what's so exciting is the content. Our films are inspirational, redemptive, faith-based, from screenplays to music videos, animation, documentaries, to feature films. There really is something for everyone. Yeah, so join us on September 14th, 15th, and 16th at Innes College, University of Toronto. Or our website, kithflix.ca. I could feel like my brain was going to literally explode. In 2011, Stacy Wade started experiencing a steady stream of migraines. It's a pressure in my head, it's pushing down on my neck, it's hard to move, hard to even just standing up or sitting up, it was terrible. Her doctor prescribed pain medication that helped for a while, but after a few years, the migraines returned. This time, they got so bad, she had to quit work. I'd walk in the house holding on to something. My eyes were hurting from the pressure that was behind them. I would come home and I would just look at my husband and say, honey, I can't do it. I gotta go to bed. Stacy stayed home, but the pain even kept her from doing the things she loved, like playing with her two-year-old son, Cash. Just look at Cash and I would say, son, mama can't do it today. We would watch movies, we'd sit on the floor and play, but I couldn't get up and run outside with him. She relied on her husband, JT, to take care of their family. I was having to rely on him to cook, to clean, to take care of our son, play with them, and everything else. And with my husband working nights, it was hard. It was horrible. It's almost like being paralyzed and having to watch your life go on without you. Stacy prayed for God to heal her. She also watched the 700 Club almost every day. On December 22, 2015, Terry gave a word of knowledge. When you have a chronic migraine scenario it's behind your eyes but it's like a band around your head it's very debilitating like it's impacted your life it's gone and you're not going to have that back again just receive that merry Please. christmas i was like that's me god that's me i was like thank you lord thank you god that's i need this as she was talking the pressure in my head went away the pain in my neck from the pressure went away. I felt this warm sensation go down my neck and into my shoulders and through my back. 
Once again, Stacy was able to enjoy life with JT and Cash. We went from having to sit in one spot and play to he could run through the house and I could chase him and we could go to the park and he could swing and he could play and it was awesome. Stacy says she wasn't the only one whose life changed that day. When JT saw how God healed his wife, he decided to give his life to Jesus Christ. We were watching 700 Club. Pat was going through the salvation prayer. I said it with everything in me. I said, Jesus, please come into my heart and be a part of my life. And I ask your forgiveness. Today, Stacy is still pain free. There is no impossibility with God. God can do anything. Yes. Oh my goodness. I mean, you know, Peter, we were talking about earlier how quickly you can make a meal like this. How long does it take for the uh, for, for the, the shrimp? shrimp? It takes yeah. three to four minutes on yeah. medium heat and it it's wonderful. It's done. As mm -hmm. soon as it turns pink, you know it's done. There's mm -hmm. no second guessing. Now, the Bear Monday is the same way. You just got to make sure that it springs its own juice. And not only that, but it separates from its skin, and then you really know it's really ready. It's got grated selenium. It's got vitamin B and also vitamin A. It is great for sleep. And you know, selenium is a, a very interesting vitamin because when you connect that with vitamin E, it really helps the blood flow and also in your circulation as well. This whole week, what we're offering you is protect your health. It's so important that you take care of your health. And it's yours for the asking, 1-855-759-0700. Prayer partners are standing by. It costs you absolutely nothing. Just request it. And we're also doing something pretty cute, or pretty cool, not cute. Because cool. I don't think there's anything between no. me and you that's cute. No. <laughs> the boys. But what we are uh, offering you is our, our recipe. So if, if you want to know how to cook this and, again, the time and everything else, we'll get that to you. Again, one 855 700 You know, the beautiful thing about, about food, Jesus did most of his teaching around meals. And he said, as often as you eat this meal, and he was talking about the communion meal, he said, do it in remembrance of me. But every time we pray over for our food and we, we we consecrate it that's when we say lord would you please be glorified bless this food and also our conversation and i pray that he blesses you until next time god bless let's dig in buddy to contact us phone 1-855-759-0700 you can email us at cba at 700 club.ca or write to us at Christian Broadcasting Associates, Incorporated. The 700 Club Canada, P.O. Box 700, Scarborough, Ontario, M1S 4T4. You can now like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter or Instagram. On tomorrow's show. I was 19 years old when I know that I started gaining weight. Food is a thing that a lot of people just want to brush under the rug. But for me, it was an addiction. It was something that had control over me. I definitely struggled with insecurities, especially like going to the beach or anything that involved like exercise.